You got shot in the nuts, dude. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Oh, man, perfect. Right in the slot. We got 4,000 XP for that one. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, this is Alpha 19 Experimental, and it's also Horde Night 14, and we also play this game on the same difficulty. Sometimes you're all set to Nightmare Speed, and like I said, it's Horde 14. <laughs> uh, so we have uh, just a little bit uh, uh, more than uh, one in-game hour before it starts, and um, I think we're pretty much as ready as we're going to be uh, with our little Horde base here. Um... Let's go ahead and upgrade that to concrete and that to reinforce. I should have already done that, but I didn't, so uh, not a huge deal. Uh, maybe we'll hit this one, too. And that one I'm not worried about. That's really just spider protection right there. So, yeah, this is our, our setup here. If you if you didn't see me show it to you in a couple episodes ago. Uh, but basically, it's got this overhang here so they can't stand up here and then pile up on each other's shoulders and get up on top there to get at us. Oh, that's right. We still had to do uh, get this this guy upgraded too, so we'll hit that. Uh, but basically, they come up the ramp here. Well, hopefully they will, um, and then they'll kind of get hung up on this um, hatch here, and then we can just stand over there and and just start shooting them in the head. So we're gonna start with our pistol, um, and then we'll maybe we'll use our shotgun some, and then we also have um, our bow with a bunch of arrows, and then I have. Um, several pipe bombs uh, here too. So we've got what? See, 20, 40. Yeah, we got a, around almost 50 pipe bombs uh, that we can use against them when that time comes. So let's get back up here and get uh, that last uh, block up there upgraded. And um, as long as we stay in this area, I'm not expecting that they will try and break in, you know, in any of these other places. Uh, so I think we'll be okay in that regard. I do have like a little kill chamber in here too with a, a hatch that we can open up and throw pipe bombs down into. But I didn't they didn't really seem to be interested in in coming in here on Horde Night 7. So I think their AI is a little smarter now, which is a great thing, by the way. Uh, but in case they do, you know, mill around in here, uh, we do have that option of dropping uh, some bombs on their head. Okay, so let's get back up there. And uh, I also I was gonna make an enclosure. Uh, for buzzer protection out of like wood bars, but I, I just didn't get around to it So we're just gonna use wood frames for tonight if a buzzard comes in They will attack the blocks, but it, I'm, I'm expecting or I'm hoping that that'll buy us a, enough time to deal with the buzzard before It it can actually break through the blocks and get to us, but we'll find out. We'll see you know how that's gonna go We need to uh, get this other block Upgraded right There we go and uh, I've got that up there pretty high. I was thinking about maybe putting some um, some spikes, some iron spikes on the top of that too, just as an extra precaution, because I did notice that on Horde 7, I didn't have, you know, this little um, overhang thing here on Horde 7, but they were piling up on each other's shoulders and, you know, trying to get up over the top of the wall. The wall wasn't that high either. Um, so that's why I made it a little bit higher. And again, um, if we decide to try this again on Horde 21, it just kind of depends upon how, you know, how well it does. Uh, I might put some spikes up there as well. So, okay, we have 30 in-game minutes before the Horde starts. Um, I have double poles here, um, concrete, reinforced concrete poles here. So if the zombies get all the way through to us, they're still going to have to break through four reinforced concrete poles before they can actually get in here. I also have these wood frames down here. I was thinking I might want to actually change those to hatches at some point, but I don't have time to do that right now. Um, but the idea is that, you know, if, if it looks like we're going to get overrun, I can pull those wood frames up. Of course, I would have to repair them first. Um, and then, you know, the zombies drop down there. So that's the plan for tonight, guys. I'm hoping this works out quite well. We'll see how it does. Uh, I tried a variation of this on Horde 7, but I I forgot to put the overhang, and so what was happening is the zombies were actually just jumping over the hatches. It still was effective to an extent, though, because it did slow them down so they couldn't all just rush me all at once. Um, so it kind of worked, but it didn't work the way that it's supposed to. So hopefully this time 
the AI will still think that they can path up here to me and get hung up on these trap doors. This particular idea, by the way, is not mine. I got it from Reach Gaming uh, by watching, um, he did a little video series about the bases in Alpha 18 and whether or not they worked also in 19. And this particular design that he had did still uh, seem to work in Alpha 19. So hopefully it'll also work for us. His was a little bit different, you know, than this, but it was the same basic idea using the hatches, you know, to try and uh, hang the Zombos up. All right, well, I think we're about as prepared as we can be. Uh, we've got, we've got, um, uh, 371 nines. We're not going to shoot up our 762s if we can help it. I've got uh, over 200 arrows. We've got 173 shotgun shells. And then, like I said, um, you know, all these pipe bombs here. So we should make a pretty good showing. I've got iron, concrete, cobblestone, wood, and, f and uh, scrap iron in my inventory and wood. I, I think I already said that, right? For repairs. Okay, it's showtime. Oh boy, <laughs> let's see how this works. Let's see how this works. If they if they if they path up here, I think this is going to be really effective. But if they get smart on us, oh look at that, they are coming up here. Okay, look at that. Okay, headshots. So they're actually attacking the the side wall. That's interesting. Oh, he got up there. Wow, okay. He didn't get in here, did he? Oh, I was going to say, damn. Go away, Fido. Okay, well, if we do this again on 21, I'm going to have to cover the sides, too, so they can't do that. I just, I didn't have a lot of resources, so I I tried, you know, I, I didn't use as, as much as I potentially could have there. Let's try this. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, cool. So we have another dog. I have to keep an eye on him. But yeah, this really works pretty good, man. It just lines up their heads for us. We just go to town on him. Okay, so he made it up here. Kneecap him. Oh, shit. Here's a dog. I need him to come down here so I can shoot him. Yeah, that seems to be holding him at bay. Good. Reload. Okay, nobody's interested. Well, a couple of them are coming down there, but not they're not like congregating down there. The most of them are trying to come up this path. And they're not so far they're not getting past the, the first uh patch either, which is really good. So the problem with, with the zombies and the dogs, you know, getting up on the side, that can be easily be resolved just by, you know, having me cover those up. What shall we can do for the next time? Line up those heads, boys and girls, and monsters and things and its and dead guys. Oh, well, they're all dead guys. Dead guys and gals. got our first level and we got Darlene coming in here should probably use my shotgun on those ones to get close like that 
Uh, she must have jumped off. All right, can we hit them with this? I mean, we can, but is it close enough to do significant damage? Yeah, it is. Here comes Edgar. Okay, Edgar's dead. Okay, let's try another pipe bomb. Did that bounce off the side? Yeah, it did. Dark on it. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. That's going to give him something to think about. Okay, we need to repair this. I've got more 9 mils uh, for when the Horde Knight's over, too, so we can shoot all this up. You got shot in the nuts, dude. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Oh, man, perfect. Right in the slot. We got 4,000 XP for that one. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. More Fido's coming in. I don't want him to get a get a bite off on me or we might get infected or bleeding or something. Yeah, nobody's interested in going down there. Oh shit. There's a lot of them. A lot of them, man. Okay, let's use some more of these. Okay, I just heard some blocks break somewhere. I'm not sure where that happened. 1200 XP for that one. Twenty four hundred XP for that one. Okay, they're starting to hit the trap door. Whoops. When they get if they get through that first trap door, then we'll start using the shotgun because they'll be closer and we'll do more damage to them that way. Somehow that dog glitched through. Okay, we're out of nines. So let's uh, put the bow in its place. Yeah, you know what? Let's just let's just keep using these for now because this is getting we're getting maximum bang for our XP when it doesn't fall off the side like that. Okay, that's our second level. And it's not even midnight yet. Beautiful. Almost 3,000 XP on that one. We'll let them build up a little bit more, and then we'll just keep pipe bombing them. That might be really our best bet until they break through the hatch. They're working on it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Okay, we got to make sure we throw that at full force to get it through the, the chute there. We haven't had any, any buzzards come in, have we? Have we? There we go. Oh, nope, that one went off the end. That ought to hurt. 
Big Mama's down there. Hi, Big Mama. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I think that's just a little bit far out for a shotgun. So let's... Yeah, let's use the bow for a little bit. Did I ever put a point in archery? I didn't. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, let's just use the pipe bombs then. That's the first stack down. It's like some of them might be trying to work on the pillars of the ramp. It's, it looks like the explosion does go through the hatch, which is good. Ah, shit! <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't quite work out, does it? There we go, that was a good throw. Okay, good, they made it through. So let's start using the shotgun since they're a little closer now. We should get some twofers and some threefers here. There we go. Wait till we get another one up there. There we go. Get that penetration in. Now, I don't mean that kind of penetration. You guys get your minds out of the gutter. got 1989 XP. We got it again. The same number. Sweet. Oops. They're dropping bags, too. I don't know if they'll still be there by morning, but we'll see. All right, so it's 12.45 in the morning. Let's see if we can get another one up there so we can get a twofer. Yeah, maybe not. Okay. Let's just shoot Big Mama, then. We are almost to the next level. That's fantastic. You know, the good thing about this design, too, you guys, I have, I'm have i going to have very, very minimal repairing to have to do. Are, those, are there zombies banging up somewhere else, or is that just the music that's making that noise? Not sure. Okay, come on. Okay, let's go see if we can figure out what the hell is going on, because I hear I hear them walking around. Oh, there's one stuck down in the down in the thing down there. <laughs> he just got out right before I threw the pipe bomb. Okay, let's see if we can get him to come up here and we'll shotgun him his ass. There you go, buddy. Nice. I'm thinking maybe we killed the horde. We got the we got the nice music back now. Chances are whatever's banging over there is probably just a normal Zeker and not a blood moon. Wow. Okay, let's go see if we can figure out what's doing that. Almost sounds like 
it's somebody over in the oil company. Yeah, it is. That's not even a blood moon zombie. Come here, homie. He's dead. All right, guys. Well, successful Horde Knight 14 under our belt. Look at that. We might as well kill these yahoos and see if we can get uh, our next level. I want to keep watching behind me just in case. <laughs> He's like all glitched out there. Come on, man. Break through there. Get over here so I can shoot you. Yeah, our archery skill sucks. <laughs> it's terrible. We might uh we might try the stealth build again though come about mid mid game or so. Um that build is really powerful in the end game. If you guys watched my uh Wasteland series, you you saw that in action for sure. I've just never really felt the stealth build is good for early game as all. Well. There you go. Come on over, pal. All right. So we didn't quite get to the next level, but we came close. We, we got two levels, right? Yeah, we got two levels, and we're almost to the next level. All right. Well, Horde Knight is done, you guys. We made a damn good showing of ourselves, I think. We made a damn good showing. I don't want to I don't want to get on my mini bike because I believe the patch note says that if you are on a vehicle on Horde Knight, it'll spawn boss buzzards on you <laughs> in your location to chase you. Um, and that probably still could happen even though the actual horde itself is done now. So let's not take any chances. Uh, let's take a look though and see uh, what things look like over here. So we did we did have some breakage. I don't have a, a torch on me unfortunately so we can't see. We had we did have some breakage down here but again I mean this is very very minimal. In fact yeah we better loot these too huh. What do we have? Alright more ammo. Good good I'll take that. And some salmon for our fish taco recipe and more ammo and stuff like that. Good. Not bad at all. So, yeah, let's uh, get our hammer. And, yeah, this is just in super good shape. Very minimal damage, like I said. So what, I, I think I am going to go ahead and try this again for 21. And, but what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll, we'll actually cover this, enclose this whole corridor. So that way they can't jump up along the side and come at us like they did uh, tonight. Not that that was a big problem. I mean, you know, we, we managed it anyway, but um, we'll make it so that they just can't do that at all. I should probably put a, another block down there too. But, I mean, this base is in fantastic condition, all things considered. You know, because they spent the majority of their time trying to get at me and, you know, getting hung up here on the hatches. Very nice. These I might change to, to actual hatches down below that I can still open up and they would fall through. So in terms of blocks, we lot we broke they broke these two blocks here and they broke the one hatch, and we might be able to have you know we might have enough resources in the next by the next horde to upgrade these to actual steel too, uh, which would be really good. But yeah, I'm very pleased with this this general idea. Again, I want to just give credit to Reach Gaming. Um, he's the one that I saw do it. I don't know if that I don't know if this was his actual idea, um, but. 
Um, he's the one that, you know, showed it to me. Well, he didn't show it to me, but I watched his video, and that's where I learned of it. So, you know, kudos to him for this design, and it definitely appears to work quite well here in Alpha 19. All right, guys. Well, um, yeah, I don't know that there's a whole lot more uh, for us to do. I'm just going to, um, you know, finish these repairs here. I'll probably... I'll probably build... Oh, we, oh shit, man, look at all the bags down there. I didn't even notice those. Money. Oh, we got some iron chest armor and a, a yellow iron spear. Is that iron chest armor better than our purple scrap? It is not better than our purple scrap. In fact, it's inferior to it. Okay, well, then we'll probably just end up selling that. But I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. I know it's a little shorter than, you know, the typical 30-minute or so episode, but um, there's just not really much more to do right now uh, for, you know, for the episode. I'm just going to, uh, like I said, get this repaired. And, um, you know, we could... I have some rebar on me right now, so we could go ahead and fix these up. And... If I have enough concrete, there we go. Now we got that next level. So yeah, we got a total of three levels tonight, guys. Really cool, huh? Um, maybe I'll even finish enclosing these walls here. And um, I don't really know that we have to do a whole lot more. If I can, like I said, I'd, I'd like, like to upgrade maybe these bars to steel and the hatches to steel. We got to, you know, build a new hatch to put in there. And um, that's probably all we have to do. The rest of it, we should be able to just continue using it, at least for 21. Now, after 21, I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll have to just see how it does on 21, I guess, before we can make that call. We'll have to get that upgraded, too. Yeah. So... Yep, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode where we will go out and keep doing some questing and adventuring and having fun here in Alpha 19. See ya.